Samsung is one of the biggest electronic companies in the world. It was founded in 1938 in Korea. They have products ranging from apparels, electronics to even chemicals. It employs over half a million of people around the globe and its revenue rakes in somewhere around $315 billion. Samsung was already a successful company. However, its entry in the smartphone market became a game changer for them. Samsung struggled initially as Nokia was the undisputed champion in the mobile phone market during the start of 21st century. However, with the introduction of Android and other advanced software, Nokia started falling behind. This gave Samsung a golden opportunity to fill the void. Samsung started its Galaxy series in 2009. A year later, in 2010, it started its most successful S series. In 2011, it introduced Galaxy Note, which was a combination of phone and tablet, also popularly known as tablet. Over the next five years, Galaxy Note series became a rate worldwide and strengthened the position of Samsung in the smartphone market. However, Samsung was feeling the pressure as there was an intense competition from the cheaper Chinese phones. Its arc rival Apple was also strengthening its position in the market. To stay afloat, Samsung introduced Galaxy Note 7 in 2016 and it broke all the pre-order records in South Korea. The demand for this phone was so high that there was shortage in many international markets. Just when Samsung thought they had hit bullseye, terror struck them. There were reports of Note 7 catching fire and battery exploding. When the instances started to increase, Samsung announced that they would provide free replacement for such phones. According to Samsung, their battery supplier company called SDI, which apparently was also their subsidiary company, may have goofed up the batteries. They provided the replacement phones which had batteries made by another supplier company called ATL. However, shiver went down their spine when the replacement phones also started to explode. Situation was so bad that Note 7 was banned in airplanes. Pressure was mounting on Samsung to take some severe action. According to the industry experts, the fault was in the design of the phone itself. Samsung packed too many features in that phone which made it unstable. Note 7 was slim and its battery capacity was huge. This led to collision of anode and cathode which resulted in explosion. With no respite in sight, Samsung recalled all the Note 7 units and halted its production. Shares of Samsung fell 8% causing a hole of $17 billion in their pocket. This debacle will cost Samsung around $10 billion. Note 7 is not only the biggest failure in recent times, but also a huge embarrassment for a gigantic company like Samsung, which has reputation of delivering quality products for several decades now. Will Apple's iPhone benefit from this? Will Chinese phone manufacturers grab this opportunity? Or will the South Korean conglomerate bounce back? Only time will tell.